Hey guys, welcome back to more Pokemon Ruby. Um, so yeah, this is Petalburg City. It has a few NPCs and it has water, which can surf in. And I've tried to escape the town, this dude will drag you back to go and reach the gym. Right, there's something very special about this gym. This happens to be your dad in the game. Um, so you open up the where so you enter the gym, and lo and behold, there's your dad standing in front of two sealed doors. Ah, the, here's your second rival for the game, and he's actually really annoying. I'm always really tempted just to skip this bit. Like, I've done one recording of this before, it didn't go too well. And I was tempted to skip this bit the second time. You know what? This is what we can do. Let's just skip it. Yes, this is required annoyingly. Really annoyingly, this is required. <laughs> Hate doing this. He moves so damn slowly. Oh yeah, tackle. And the bad thing about Valks is that it doesn't learn any good moves for a little while. All it knows is growl. And um, this guy actually does go on to become a sub-rival to you. And later on, he basically he becomes main rival after a while. This team is better and stronger. Oh yeah, and you'll throw your ball at him. You go Wally, throw your ball! Where is the puzzle? Oh my god, he's caught a route. A terrible choice by there. Yeah, so now we teleport back to the gym. There we go, um... Yeah, now if you have to rush for a city, um, you have to go and collect badges and yada yada yada, as with any, any other Pokemon game. Okay, so, yeah, as I said in the first video, this is actually the fifth gym, not the fourth gym as I thought. And the first gym, like Pokemon Red, is a rock type gym. I mean, I'm going to need a water Pokemon but sooner or later. And I want just to wing up when we a new route, aren't we? And let's quickly pause this so I can do a new Pokemon thing. Here we go. Um, new Pokemon that can be found here. There's only one, and it's Taylor. It's usually between level 4 and 5. It's a good flying type, so I would recommend getting it. Just for now, I need to try and find something that I can beat. A rock type gym leader with. Oh, and what's annoying about this route is Zigzagoon has a 50% rate of appearing. I mean, I'm still playing up Torch Bow at the minute. So I'm going to run from this because you don't deserve to see all these wild battles. It's not what you came on here for. Of course, now if I ever get to a wild battle, just pause the recording and so on and so forth. That's an orange berry. It's basically the equivalent of a, of a gold silver berry, he has 10 HP. That is a Petri berry, which heals paralysis. I'm going to leave those where they are, I'm going to try and avoid him. Let's pause this. Okay, I just want to bring this back in for a sec. So I've decided, instead of pausing this and skipping this one, I'm going to try and catch it for my second Pokemon so it would be better than having just my um, Poochiana and my Torch Bow. Here we go, caught Wurmple. Wurmple, it evolved at level 7. I'm not going to take it back to the Pokemon Center for healing it. 
I'm just going to straight into the Kettleberg Woods. And I'm going to use the potion from my bag to heal up Wormhole. I just realised this, but I actually forgot to go to the Pokemon Centre the first time round. I'm going to stick my Wormhole up the front, I think. I'm going to end this here, well, see you later. I'm going to end this video here, well, I'll see you in a bit. Um, up next. Actually, wait a minute, come down here. Now here. That woman doesn't bark you, but you can get a Pokeball. So yeah, I'll see you later, dude. I'll, um, I'll see you later, guys. Um, Coming tomorrow, I'll probably do the rest of the Petal Bird Woods. See you then.